Welcome to lesson number 10 of A Course in Miracles. My thoughts do not mean anything. My thoughts do not mean anything. And here we go on with the, with the, the same idea, looking at our thinking uh, reality even a little bit deeper. In uh, session, in lesson number four, um, the, the, the practice was uh, these thoughts don't mean anything. These thoughts do not mean anything. Yeah. So we were observing thoughts and we were going, well, these thoughts don't mean anything. These thoughts about this don't mean anything. <clears throat> now what we're doing is owning it a little bit more and going, my thoughts do not really mean anything. And, and here we start uh, recognizing some of the thoughts that we had we have during during the day and just really questioning it because until now we've been uh, just thinking just thinking in in, a, in an automatic manner just thinking the same thing uh, that you thought about yesterday and 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 the invitation is also to stop and identify these repetitive thoughts that you think constantly that that uh until now, the thought was so automatic that you would actually uh, recognize the feeling, not the thought. Yeah, I'm not feeling very well. I'm feeling really scared. Uh, I'm not feeling very safe or I'm feeling very sad. <clears throat> now what the course is asking you is to go once again a little bit before that and going, recognizing the thoughts that you're thinking. And the, the lesson is, my thoughts do not mean anything. And how interesting is, I mean, I was practicing that lesson today just to be able to share it. And it was like, um, I will think a thought, these repetitive thoughts that I recognize that I've been, that I think constantly. And the moment that I will center and I will breathe and I will be <clears throat> right in the present, it seemed that the, the thought will lose power and, and there was that disconnection from the thought. But the moment I allowed the thought to control me, uh, it just felt like my body, like I was almost out of my body, uh, just in the experience of the thought. And, 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 and very disempowering because when we're in that experience of the thought, thinking, usually it's thinking about something that is not pleasant um, we're very, we're feeling very disempowered because in reality is that we are not going through that experience at the moment. We are imagining the experience in our head. And because we're imagining the experience in our head and it's not real, it is very difficult to access all the resources that we will have if we were actually going through an experience rather than an Im imagining the experience. So thinking about an, an experience that, 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 you, that is um, scary or it's tricky or it's challenging or um, it's, it's, it's more disempowering than actually going through the experiences because we, we've all ex we have all experienced that when we go through a situation, uh, other resources that we wouldn't have thought <clears throat> that, we, that were available to us come up for us to survive that experience. So the fact that it's just in, in our imagination, it is very hard to access to all those resources. <clears throat> so this practice is a practice that has to be done once again um, in a quiet time, quiet space. So, so you need some time for yourself. And it's so important at the moment to, to really take that time for, for yourself only a few minutes. If you feel that the exercise is too challenging, uh, maybe just not do it or just wait until you're feel, feeling a little bit better. Otherwise, just have a bit of time for yourself and start observing the thoughts that are coming into your mind. And um, one of the things that we can say is this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. <clears throat> so this idea that my thoughts do not mean anything, 
uh, will start helping me detaching from these thoughts that really run my life, you know what I mean? Really run my emotions, really, um, it's like if I'm always connected to these thoughts and, and the, these thoughts have found a way to control me. Uh, and, and going back to the idea of uh, where, uh, you know, our mind is like a blank page and then the thought comes into our awareness and then I just plug in the thought. <clears throat> and I just plug into that thought. And then I just go into that thought and the emotions and you know get stuck into that thought. But if I actually recognize the thought coming into my awareness and I go, no, I'm not going to get caught this time in this thought. This is not the thought that I wanna keep uh, feeding. And I'm gonna let this thought go and I'm going to center again see how that goes, see how that practice goes. And um, once again, this is not about doing it perfect, but it's just to, to give it a go. My thoughts about whatever, the issue that you might be looking at or confronting or and don't, that does not mean anything. My thoughts about so-and-so does not mean anything. And once again, repeating the idea that this idea will help to release me from that I know, um, that I now believe. This idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. <clears throat> so the, the starting point is, <clears throat> I've got all these beliefs that are making me feel unhappy. So these practices that I'm doing will eventually uh, release me from this addiction to these thoughts. And I will, be connecting to more inner peace. So see how you go with this lesson, lesson number 10. Uh, as usual, <clears throat> read through the lesson, see what, what resonates for you. And, um, and we'll see you tomorrow again for lesson number 11. Many blessings.